Founders of Encore Golf and the chairman of Encore Golf is Keith Blakely. And you're going to make us all smarter to explain the technology behind the ball. It's not just balls of steel. It's not just a slogan. It's a fact as we see here on the end. Well, that's exactly right. It's not a slogan. Uh, as we like to say, it's not fiction. It's physics. How do you hit a straight shot off the tee? You keep it from spinning to the side because a side spin is going to cause you to increase what's called the Magnus force. That's part of the physics. The Magnus force means that as that ball spins sideways, there's a force that's pushing it to either the right or the left. There's your slice or hook. Exactly. The faster that's spinning, the higher the Magnus force, the more you're going to be off the center line that you want to hit it to. So what we do is we slow that side spin down. To slow it down, we push the weight to the outside. Once that ball is off the tee and it's spinning, if the weight is closer to the outside, that side spin, that miss hit that you just gave it, will slow down sooner. And so what you'll see is that the ball, although it can be hooked or sliced, will actually stop hooking or slicing a little bit sooner, gives you a better chance of hitting more fairways, keeps it in play. The first time I played the ball, I, you know, I like many, I'm sure, I'm watching this like, okay, yeah, right, this ball goes straighter. I totally shanked one off the drive and, you know, it started to uh, power fade, slice, <laughs> and a ball that normally would have went out of bounds stayed in. Absolutely. Now, you've got a challenge because the more you take that metal core and push it to the outside, the less polymer you've got around the core, and so the feel of the ball now is going to be different. You don't want to hit a steel ball with your titanium yeah. head driver. Um, and so there's a balance between the accuracy that you can achieve with the ball and the way the ball is going to play, how it's going to feel. And not just off the tee, but you've got iron shots, you've got wedge shots, and of course you've got your putting. Now, one of the advantages that we didn't anticipate when the ball was originally designed was what we call this wide track tire effect on the putting green. We see a lot of people writing to us about how, sure, they noticed it went a little bit straighter, but where they really saved some strokes was in the putting game because it was more of a point and shoot kind of ball. Less break on the green because, the, again, the weight is on the outside. There's no weight in the center. So it tends to stay straight, be less affected by the perturbations on the green surface. I imagine a ton of testing went into this. Oh, yeah. Um, to make it not only fly straight, but distance is a part of the game here. How does it measure up? Well, again, that was part of the balance. In designing the ball, the first couple of designs had a, a wider diameter core, did have a harder feel. But what we really noticed, unfortunately, was that it gave us a much shorter ball. So we went back to the drawing board, redesigned the core a little bit, decided to, to shrink the core, that changes the amount of accuracy that you achieve, although we still know from the Iron Byron testing that this is amongst the straightest balls on the market. But what this now does is it achieves a competitive distance. We find that these balls stack up against some of the best out there in terms of distance. The other part of it, I think, is the mental part of the game. If you're not clutched when you step up to that tee, worried about hooking or slicing the ball because you know the ball is going to help you hit it straighter, more likely to relax and have a more natural drive. And that will typically lead to better distance.